This is Jeff Kate of SharePoint Solutions. We have a new course we are offering on the Microsoft Self-Service Business Intelligence Toolset. We're excited about this set of Microsoft tools in the course because we believe that the timing is right for companies to move to the next level in giving their power users the tools they need to more easily analyze and share their business data. If you're new to the concept of Self-Service BI, in this short video, I'd like to introduce it to you by answering the first question you probably have, what is Microsoft Self-Service BI? First, it helps to have a basic understanding of what traditional BI is all about. Both traditional BI and Self-Service BI start with the business professionals who have business questions that they need answers to. And they believe the answers can be found in the data that their company captures in various line of business systems such as CRM or ERP. For example, a business pro in the hotel industry might have a lot of questions about the performance of his or her hotel properties and may want to compare that data with publicly available tourism trend data. In traditional BI, the next step would be for the business pro to contact the IT department and start working with an IT pro who specializes in BI application development. The IT pro would begin to identify the data sources that are available that are applicable to the business pro's questions. Next, the IT pro begins the design and development of one or more data warehouses or data marts. These are databases that are created by extracting data from the company's production databases. The data warehouse is designed to be optimized for reporting and analysis. After the data warehouse is developed, it is frequently necessary to further pr process the data and create multiple multi-dimensional databases which are often called cubes. These databases are needed for efficient slicing and dicing of rolled up or aggregated data. After all this work has been done, either the IT pro or the business pro can use a handful of tools such as Excel, Performance Point for SharePoint, and Business Intelligence Development Studio, also known as BIDS, to develop reports and ad hoc analysis of the data. Finally, the reports and ad hoc analyses can be published and shared with other business pros and end users via SharePoint. Traditional BI has been around for the last 15 to 20 years. Companies in IT departments have been deep into it for a long time. It has been able to answer a lot of key business questions for a lot of companies, but it has also suffered from a long-standing list of fundamental problems. One problem is due to the fact that it requires highly specialized IT development skills. IT pros with BI specializations are in short supply. As a result, most companies can have only a few on staff. With only a few available, but so many business questions to answer and so much data available, the IT department quickly becomes the bottleneck when it, be when it comes to BI projects. Another problem is the amount of time and money that it takes to do traditional BI application development. It is not uncommon for projects to take months and even years to complete. This is due to the small project team size for most traditional BI projects and the need to bite off quite a large scope to make the end application effective. Finally, the traditional BI toolset was never intended to emphasize flexibility in terms of being able to quickly adapt to BI applications as changes occur in the business. Of course, as the pace of business changes increased dramatically in the internet and big data era, the aspect of traditional BI has become even more problematic. Now that we are in sync on what traditional BI has been all about, let's begin to understand self-service BI. Self-service BI starts at the same place as traditional BI, with business pros who have important business questions that they believe their data can help answer. Just as with traditional BI, the sources of data must be identified as the next step. In most organizations, technologies such as ODBC have become very familiar to many business pros and connecting to line of business data sources for basic data exploration has become old hat. In some cases, an IT pro will have to assist the business pro in locating and connecting to data sources, but typically this can be accomplished in very short order with a minimum of fuss. The next step is where the first dramatic difference occurs between self-service BI and traditional BI. A new BI tool, PowerPivot for Excel and SharePoint, has become available that is able to replace the requirement to develop data warehouses and cubes. Furthermore, this BI tool has been designed to be 
understandable and usable by power users within your company. The output of Power Pivot is called a data model. Once a Power Pivot data model has been created, one or more users can begin to author reports and data analysis that are based on the data model. For this to work, Microsoft now offers two tools that have been purpose built to be easy to use and powerful for the Business Pro. The first tool, Report Builder, is part of SQL Reporting Services and is a wizard based Business Pro report development tool. The second, PowerView, is also part of SQL Reporting Services and is designed to enable the Business Pro to create highly visual reports, charts, and dashboards. The power and Business Pro friendliness of these two new tools is the second big difference between self-service BI and traditional BI. Just as with traditional BI, the final step is to publish the reports, analysis, and dashboards for sharing with colleagues, and this is done via SharePoint. Now let's examine some of the benefits of the self-service BI approach. First, it empowers business professionals to create end-to-end -end business intelligence applications. Many business professionals will find that they can take some of their most important business questions and find the answers they are looking for without having to engage the IT department. This is good for the business pro because most people like to help themselves whenever possible. It is good for IT because it means less of a backlog of development projects that may never even be scheduled. And it is good for the company because the people who make the business decisions now are able to do so from data as opposed to gut feel. The complexity of the tools that have been available to use to develop BI applications has been a barrier to business pros getting involved in the development process. The tools have been designed with a specialized IT pro in mind as the primary user. Self-Service BI introduces a new set of tools that have been built with the idea that business pros need BI tools that already seem familiar. In the Microsoft Self-Service BI approach, this has been accomplished by giving the tools a user interface that is similar to the Microsoft Office suite of programs that the business pros have been using for years. With the proliferation of data, which some industry observers call big data, it is critically important that the Self-Service BI tools are able to connect to and consume a wide range of data sources. The primary tool in the Microsoft Self-Service BI tool set that accomplishes this with flying colors is PowerPivot. It can not only connect to common Microsoft data sources such as SQL Server and Access and Excel, but also almost any ODBC data source and future standards for consuming data such as XML data feeds. PowerPivot has overcome one of the long-standing Excel limitations that has held Excel back from being an analysis tool that can be relied on no matter the volume of data. PowerPivot for Excel quickly and easily imports and performs calculations on data sets with hundreds of millions of rows as opposed to the one million row upper limit Excel has imposed for years. The fact that self-service BI tools are both powerful and easy to use translates into a BI application development time frame that is expressed in days or weeks instead of months and years. The inability of traditional BI techniques to accelerate the development pace has been a major drawback for many organizations. And now that drawback can be removed through the introduction of PowerPivot and the self-service BI approach. Finally, in the Microsoft Self-Service BI approach, the results of a BI application are consumed by users in SharePoint. This is a huge benefit because the reports, analysis, and dashboards can live right alongside business documents, lists, pages, workflows, and all of the objects that companies have centralized in their SharePoint intranets over the past 10 years. Because the BI components are designed to be stored and surfaced in SharePoint, they are immediately seen, they immediately seem familiar and usable, not to mention the fact that users are not required to go to a non-SharePoint tool or site to consume BI data. I hope this short video has helped you understand what Microsoft Self-Service BI is all about. I trust that you also have started to gain an appreciation for its potential and the tremendous value it can bring to organizations. 
I encourage you to consider attending our in-depth instructor-led training class on Microsoft Self-Service BI. In the three-day class, you will have your own dedicated lab machine, an outstanding instructor, and high-quality, custom-developed course materials all put together to make sure you maximize your learning experience. We teach this course on a rotating basis at our physical locations in Chicago, Dallas, Nashville, and Washington, D.C. For students that are not local to one of these cities or can't easily travel, we also offer a convenient live online remote attendance option regardless of which city the class is currently being held. The URL at the bottom of this slide will take you directly to the course outline page where you can read all of the details about this course. If you have questions, don't hesitate to email us at training at SharePointSolutions.com or call us at area code 615-515-0210, option 2. Thanks for watching, and I hope I get to see you in class.